Imagine a world engulfed in the chaos of World War II, where every decision could mean life or death. Now, picture a woman, a secret agent, a musician, and a writer all rolled into one. A woman who chose to step into the shadows, to fight for freedom. This is not a tale spun from the pages of a thrilling novel. This is the real-life story of an unsung heroine, a woman of immense courage and unwavering spirit. Welcome to the extraordinary journey of Noor Inayat Khan, the silent warrior of World War II. Noor's story is a testament to the diverse and profound impacts of the war, transcending borders and defying societal norms. Born into a family with rich heritage and multicultural roots, Noor's life journey was a fusion of cultures, languages, and ideologies. Her father, Hazra Tanayat Khan, was a prominent musician and Sufi teacher which meant that Noor was exposed to a world of art, spirituality, and philosophy from a young age. Raised in both England and France, she navigated the complexities of identity and belonging, shaping her into a woman with a deep sense of purpose. As the clouds of war darkened the skies over Europe, Noor's unwavering determination to contribute to the fight for freedom led her to embark on a path that would challenge societal norms and highlight her indomitable spirit. Despite her family's spiritual and pacifist leanings, Noor felt a profound call to action in the face of the growing threat posed by the Axis powers. Her belief in the need to stand against tyranny and oppression compelled her to take a step that would reshape the course of her life. With a deep conviction that she could make a difference, Noor chose to dedicate herself to the war effort. Noor's decision to step into the fray and contribute to the war effort reflected her resolute spirit. Despite the cultural pressures that might have dictated otherwise, she joined the Women's Auxiliary Air Force, WAF, demonstrating her determination to make a difference in a world gripped by conflict. But it was Noor's subsequent involvement with the Special Operations Executive, SOE, that truly showcased her remarkable capabilities. The SOE, a covert organization established by the British government, sought to undermine the Axis powers through espionage, sabotage, and supportive resistance movements. Noor's unique blend of skills, fluency in multiple languages, her understanding of various cultures, and her unyielding courage made her a perfect candidate for this clandestine endeavor. Noor's training in the WAF was rigorous, exposing her to a wide range of skills essential for her role as a wireless operator. Her ability to intercept and transmit messages would become a critical asset in her future endeavors. Her determination and perseverance set her apart even during these early stages of her military service. Her decision to join the war effort was not without challenges. Her exceptional language skills, combined with her determination to take a more active role in undermining the Axis powers, would lead her to an even more covert and perilous path, her involvement with the Special Operations Executive. The SOE was a secret British organization established with a singular goal, to conduct sabotage, espionage, and support resistance movements in occupied territories during World War II.
With Europe under the oppressive grip of Nazi forces, the SOE played a vital role in providing assistance to local resistance groups and gathering crucial intelligence for the Allies. In 1942, she was recruited by the organization to work as a wireless operator, relaying vital information between agents in the field and Allied forces. Noor's training within the SOE was intense and multifaceted. She underwent rigorous instruction in Morse code, radio operation, security protocols, and clandestine communication technique. Her capacity to blend seamlessly into different cultures and her knack for adapting to challenging situations set her apart as a highly adaptable agent. To protect her identity and maintain operational security, Noor was given the codename Madeline. This new identity would serve as her cover as she embarked on a series of dangerous missions deep within Nazi-occupied France. Noor's most significant mission involved infiltrating Nazi-occupied France as part of the Prosper Network. Disguised as a children's nurse, she worked under the alias Jean-Marie René, all the while maintaining her covert role as a wireless operator. Her mission was to provide critical communication links between local resistance groups and the Allied forces. Working undercover behind enemy lines was fraught with peril. Noor operated in an environment filled with constant danger, where discovery could lead to torture and death. Her resilience and ability to operate in the face of grave threats highlighted her courage and dedication to the cause. Her work was inherently dangerous. The Germans were skilled at tracking radio signals, and her wireless transmissions put her at constant risk of being located by enemy radio detection units. She had to constantly change locations and use various techniques to avoid detection and ultimately death. In addition to her technical skills, Noor's ability to maintain her cover as a nurse while performing her covert operations was a testament to her acting abilities and her ability to stay calm under pressure. Her dual life required constant vigilance and a deep understanding of the nuances of her role. Sadly, Noor's journey took a fatal turn when, tragically, she was betrayed by a Frenchwoman who had turned collaborator and was working with the Gestapo. This betrayal was a devastating blow to her mission and the entire resistance network. The betrayer revealed Noor's location and activities to the Nazi authorities, leading to her eventual capture. The betrayal led the Gestapo to the location and apprehension of Noor on the night of October 13, 1943 when German officers stormed the house where she'd been hiding in Paris. Despite being outnumbered and caught off guard, Noor reportedly put up a fight, using her martial arts training and physical strength to resist arrest. However, she was ultimately overpowered and her captors quickly realized her significance as a wireless operator for the resistance. Despite the danger, she refused to cooperate with her captors, demonstrating immense courage in the face of imminent danger. Her resilience during captivity was nothing short of remarkable. Despite enduring severe torture and interrogation, she never revealed crucial information about her operations or fellow resistance members. Her ability to withstand the physical and psychological torment spoke volumes about her unwavering dedication. Even in captivity, Noor's spirit remained unbroken. She made two daring escape attempts from her prison cell, but both were thwarted by her captors. Despite her best efforts, Noor's refusal to cooperate with the Germans came at a tremendous cost. In September 1944, at just 30 years old, she was executed by the Gestapo at the Dachau concentration camp. 
Her sacrifice underscored her commitment to her principles and the cause she held dear. In recognition of her exceptional contributions, Nora has been posthumously honored with numerous awards and memorials, including the George Cross, the highest civilian decoration for bravery in the United Kingdom. Plaques and memorials in her honor can be found in various locations, including London and Dachau concentration camp, where she met her tragic end. The story of Nora Nyat Khan serves as a beacon of inspiration and a tribute to the countless unsung heroes who have made sacrifices for the greater good. Her bravery, resilience, and unwavering commitment to freedom reminds us of the capacity for heroism that resides within ordinary individuals. Nora's legacy is a testament to the triumph of the human spirit, reminding us to stand up against adversity and uphold the values that unite us all. Make sure to let us know your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel as a sacrifice to the gods of the algorithm. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.